Hey guys, it's Stephanie, and today I'm going to show you how to rebrand logos using SVGs in Inkscape. I've created a Inkscape document, and I've put current icons that are used on the site, and then I am copying the SVG, putting it alongside, and I'm essentially just swapping out the colors. So we were given a color palette of this bright green and black, and I wanted to add a little bit more dimension to it. So let me show you the way I, I look at design. I, I go to a few resources to think about colors, one of which is Dribble. Dribble.com has a lot of design. It's uploaded by different designers, and you can just go through. What I, what I did was I typed bright green in the search bar, and if you scroll down, you can see all the different designs with bright greens and get an idea for what colors work you know with that color scheme another way to do it is coolers.co and you can type in the actual color code uh, select lock and what I've done is I've just done it for the green and the black and you hit your space bar and it swaps out the three other colors that seemingly go along with these two that you've selected. So you can kind of go through and just see what what colors you think look good. Um, what I've done though, um, I've done a little research and I've come up with this color scheme. So I'm going to start, I as you can see I've already started. I've taken this icon, I've copied it over, I've used this color as a background and I've left the white and just updated the color of the hand and the coin. So let's move down here below. I've made this copy and by the way to make a copy all you have to do is select and hit control C and control V and you get another copy. I'm using a Mac it might be a little different on the PC. So I'm gonna go to my copy and because these are all grouped Instead of ungrouping them, I'm just going to go to the Edit Paths node and I can just select the different components of this icon. So I think what I'll do is, since this is like a blue color, I think I'm going to swap it out with the purple. And the shading, I am also going to swap out with the purple, but since it's darker in this icon, I'm going to just go to the fill and stroke window and I'm going to slide this down so that the shadow is a bit darker. Now the globe part is yellow. What we can do since it's a brighter color, I'm just going to go to that light green, I'm going to select that and these components are different so I'm going to select those as well if you find it gets a little tricky there's a lot of detail um, you can always zoom in which I think I might do for this what I'm doing here is when I select one object I'm holding shift and selecting another object and that you, that way you can select and um, color all of the um, the object. One thing that I haven't explained in the fill and stroke window, there is an eyedropper you can select and pick colors from anywhere else on your document. So I'm going to go right here to the light green and as you can see it's updated right on the SVG. Alright, let's zoom out and let's do one more here. So I'm just going to take my select and transform objects. I like to call it my pointer tool. I'm going to select the icon, hit control C on my Mac, control V, and we got another copy. I'm going to go over to the node tool, going to select it, and let's see, this is a bright background. We can try the neon color in the back. So what I've done is I've selected the background with the node tool, I'm going to go over to the fill and stroke window and select the eyedropper. I'm going, to, I'm going to go over to my palette and I'm going to select the bright green. And this also has shading on it, so I'm going to select the shading, go back to the eyedropper, select 
the light green again and go over to the slider and just go go um, slide the slider to the darker end and you can see it's shaded all right we have a few more things to change here I'm just gonna go zoom in with the magnifying glass this is a blue I think what I'll do is I will swap out the blues with the purples so I, I just selected the two little houses the eyedropper and I'm going to select that purple and now I'm going to select the windows and I'm actually just going to change it to the background color the green that I've selected if you accidentally select something you're not supposed to for instance I've selected all the windows but then I selected the the building you can go back continue holding shift and click the building again and it will unselect it so I have all of the windows selected I'm going to hit the eyedropper and just hit the background color and there you have it so if you have any questions uh, feel free to leave a comment below I'd be happy to answer them remember that we put these videos out every Wednesday so make sure to subscribe because you'll be getting the latest videos all the time thank you so much and have a great day